Hey there, Unsolved Mysteries fans. Uh, it's been a little bit, so I figured I'd make a new video. Um, now, uh, this case has been uh, pretty publicized over the past uh, 22, 23, 22 or 23 years since it happened. It happened in 1994. Um, you know, and there's so many conspiracies on it, and it's been covered numerous times. And, uh, you know, this case is going to be the case of Kurt Cobain. Now, if you don't know who Kurt Cobain is, which, you know, you probably should because he was part of one of the biggest rock bands of the 90s, um, Kurt Cobain was the lead singer and uh, guitarist of Nirvana. And, um, in April 8th, on April 8th, 1994, he was found dead. Um, there's been so many conspiracy theories and, um, as to what went down, um, pretty much he was basically he was um, he was found dead in the um, in in this place called the greenhouse, which is above his garage. Which there was a shotgun by his side, and his heroin kit was by his side. And uh, people think that he committed suicide. Others think he was murdered. Um, Now, personally, I don't know. I really don't have an opinion on it. It could be either or for me. He could have committed suicide. He could have been murdered. Um, there's a lot of um, discrepancies in the case. Um, yeah, so I'm j I've got it up on. Uh, I've got the uh, case up on my uh, on my laptop here. So we're gonna. I'm gonna read it over. So when Nirvana singer Kurt Cobain died at the height of his popularity and success of, in April of 1994 in the apartment over the garage adjacent to his home in Seattle, Washington, if you could believe it, you know, which was true, you know, it was it was a shock to the whole world. Nobody could believe it, you know, because I'm kind of getting off track here, but um, this was 1994. Grunge had only been out since 90, So, you know, this is close to... Like, this was the early 90s, and Nirvana had a lot of uh, hits out to that, out by that time, and they were pretty popular at that time. But, um, yeah, I remember I remember hearing that Kurt wanted to retire or something, because he just, he had too much of the business. Like, he liked, he liked being in the band, and he enjoyed music and everything. He just, um, he started to get tired of the popularity and everything that went with it. But we'll get into that later. Um, okay, so back to the article on Unsolved Mysteries Wiki. Um, okay, so private investigator Tom Grant has been leading the case, leading an investigation into sol solving some of the mysteries surrounding Kurt's death, <clears throat> and questions whether or not it might have actually been a murder. Tom has found several inconsistencies in Kurt's death, including the fact that a suicide note might have been forged that fingerprints apparently had been wiped from the crime scene and that an unidentified individual had been using Kurt's credit card shortly after his death. Um, yeah, you know, that was always suspicious too about the credit card. Um, <clears throat> about who, who was using it, or who was using it, because, you know, um, it had been used so many times after he was killed. Um, or a few times after he was killed, I guess. And, uh, yeah, so that was suspicious. Now, um, uh, Kurt was uh, Kurt was into drugs at the time. I know he was doing heroin, and um, his heroin kit was at his side. And apparently, um, it did happen. He he did inject himself with um, with heroin, and then apparently shot himself. Now, um, apparently, I forget how much heroin was in the thing, but apparently it was a lot. It, it killed the, uh, average addict, uh, like three times over or something like that, is what they said. So, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, like, conspiracies about that. Like, would he even be able to pick up the shotgun? But, like, you know, um, like, who knows his tolerance? Like, nobody really knew his tolerance for it, you know? Like, he, he'd, probably, he'd probably been doing it for quite some time, so... 
you know, who knows what his tolerance could have been, you know, it's quite possible that he could have done that, could, that he could have did that. But, also, you know, um, he, you know, Tom Grant has stated that, you know, he thinks that somebody was in there with him and it was somebody that he knew, and, you know, they were doing heroin together, and Kurt got injected more than he wanted with, more than he wanted to be injected with, and then once he was incapacitated, that he was shot with the shotgun. So, you know, there's, there, there was, there's talk about that. Um, Tom Grant has also said that there, that, um, when he went to investigate the place with, a, with, uh, one of Kurt's friends, that he was never told about the greenhouse. So that was suspicious as well. And also, the suicide note, um, looked like it had been forged as well. Because, like, the writing, um, the writing from the top of the page to the bottom of the page was so much more different. And, um, you know, there were, um, there was talk of, which I referred, this is what I referred to earlier, uh, there was talk of Kurt being burnt out and, you know, just not really enjoying the lifestyle of being that big. And, uh, Apparently at that time too he had recently pulled out of Lollapalooza, which is like a big music festival and everything. Or he he either did or he didn't, or he was about or he was going to. I'm not really sure on that one, but yeah. You know, it would have cost it it would have cost like like a lot of like millions of dollars probably if he if he would have pulled out of it. Or if he did pull out of it. I can't remember. It might have even been after this has gone on, but, yeah, um, so yeah, there's, there's that, you know, maybe he could have been killed because he was gonna be, because, because he was pulling out of, who knows, um, now, for a long time now, it has been speculated that Courtney Love may know the details of Kurt's death, which she has not revealed, um, yeah, you know, so pretty much, like, I read, I read basically everything about the wiki, but, uh, you know, I figured I'd talk more on it, um, there's a, I remember, I watched a documentary about it, um, a little bit back, and it was called Soaked in Bleach, and it was pretty much, like, Tom Grant's review of the case, and, like, he talked about how he met Courtney, and, like, they talked about Kurt's last days, and, like, they talked about, um, they talked about going to the house, and they talked about all the conspiracy, like, the discrepancy of the, of the case, and the conspiracies, and, you know, the mystery surrounding it. And there's actually an article now about a conspiracy theorist who claims that Kurt was murdered. Um, Richard Lee is arguing that the city of Seattle is preventing him from proving his theory, and some say experts say Lee's argument may actually have some merit. Lee says the city is, is suppressing more than 50 crime scene photos of Cobain's death. Uh, apparently he's produced 600 hours of shows on his theories of the case. So, you know, like, so many things. And, you know, it's like I said earlier, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those cases, you know, that's just... You know, and obviously, you know, because it's Kurt Cobain, you know, he was famous, and, you know, he was basically killed at, oh, at the height of his career. And, you know, there was a, there's a lot, there's been a lot of musicians that have um, passed away right at the height of their career. And, you know, Kurt Cobain was one of them. And, you know, it, there's just, there's been so many, um, there's been so much talk about it and so much different conspiracy theories on it and you know I've always found it just a fascinating case because nobody really knows what happened except for uh, God and Kurt and um, you know nobody will really know what happened or <clears throat> it's just it's just one of those cases that I enjoy you know because like there's so many different ways it could have gone and so many different conspiracy theories about it. Um, 
So yeah, you know, um, I pretty much touched on everything I've wanted to talk about on this case, so um, I think I'm going to upload another after this. <clears throat> oh wait, but um, actually, uh, this case is actually still on YouTube, like the Unsolved Mystery segment, it's actually on YouTube. I forget the YouTube user who uploaded it, but yeah, it's actually still on YouTube. So that's one of the many Unsolved Mysteries cases on YouTube, and you know, I can see why, because it's Kurt Cobain. And he was part of Nirvana and everything. Big, big time uh, music. Um, so yeah, you know, that's pretty much just like, all I wanted to talk about about this case. I uh, pretty much touched on everything. Um, I think I'm going to upload another one tonight. Um, so yeah, you know what, uh, I'll see you in the next one.